BBC News. After two weeks of talks, delegates at the UN Climate Summit in Egypt are negotiating late, late into the night to try to reach a major agreement. It appears as if a deal could be settled on giving money to developing countries for loss and damage already caused by global warming. The US Defence Secretary has warned that China and Russia are trying to create a world where all disputes can be resolved by force. Lloyd Austin said failure to help Ukraine could lead to tyranny and turmoil elsewhere. The British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has announced more military aid for Ukraine during his first visit to Kiev since taking office last month. The $60 million package is intended to help counter Russian aerial attacks. The Turkish Air Force has carried out raids across northern Syria in response to a deadly bomb attack a week ago in Istanbul. Kurdish-led forces in Syria said the city of Kobani was hit. A senior NASA official says humans could stay on the moon for lengthy periods this decade. Howard Hu leads the Orion Lunar Spacecraft Programme for the agency. Long queues have formed outside Peru's busiest airport, which remains closed more than a day after a crash between a plane and an emergency truck. The collision happened as the aircraft was about to take off. A snowstorm has prompted the governor of New York State to deploy more than 100 members of the National Guard. Kathy Hochul said they would work across the worst-hit area, Erie County. Hours before the Football World Cup kicks off in Qatar, the French striker Karim Benzema has been ruled out of the tournament by injury. He won this year's Ballon d'Or, the award given to the world's best player. BBC News.